Hello, hello, I'm Benjamin Cello. Come on in, my very special friend. There's Lolly Popular and her cheerful chums, Professor Wordsworth and his hungry bookworms. There's Cowboy Roy and the animals too. We're so happy to be friends with you. means? Prosody means the rhythm and pattern of words. It's all about poetry. And Professor Wordsworth is going to teach us how to write our very own poems. We're going to write some poems and share some poems that we love. The bookworms will be there and the cheerful chums. I just can't... Oh my goodness, listen to that. That's the clock. We better get going. Just gotta get my satchel. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I need it to put some things inside. Supplies and papers and all sorts of things we'll need. I hope I can find everything. First, I need scrap paper. When you're writing poetry, you need lots of scrap paper because you have to play with words and ideas and rhymes. It's very important. Just hope I can fit it all inside the satchel. The next thing I'll need is some sharp Pencils. I wonder uh, where they've gotten to. I don't know. Uh, where could they be? Oh, <laughs> here it is. Look at that. Sharp and ready to go. Next, I'm going to bring my calligraphy pen. I bet it's in one of my secret compartments. No. Ah, here they are, my quill pens. You know, a quill pen is when they take the feather of a bird and use it as a writing utensil. Where is my collect? Here it is. Isn't that beautiful? Ready for some ink. I'm gonna bring that too. And finally, the crown jewel, my poetry book. I love my poetry book. Look at this right on the title page. The Poetry of a Mellow Fellow by Benjamin Cello. Do you hear how those words sound the same? Cello, mellow, fellow. That means they rhyme. I love rhyming words. And here is a poem that I've written to share with the cheerful chums and Professor Wordsworth and the bookworms called, Thank You Lord for this beautiful day. Do you know what else is in my poetry book? blank pages for new poems I'm going to write. They speak to me. They say, write on me some poetry. Write on me some poetry. I can't wait to write those new poems. Oh my goodness, look at the time. We've got to hurry. I think we have all we need. Everyone will be waiting for us. Do you have your materials? Let's go. We'll go through the secret bookcase to the land of the baptized imagination, the book endless book tower. Wonderful. Everything's ready. Benjamin Cello will be here any moment. I'm so delighted to have the cheerful chums with me today. Yeah. Quick, let's take our seats. Audrey, David, this way. Dear Vincenzo, please take your seat. 
Thank you, Professor Wordsworth, for having us here at your prosody party. My pleasure. What's a prosody? A prosody, Vincenza, is a word which means the rhythm and pattern of sound used in poetry. Oh, I love poetry. Me too. As do I. To begin, why don't we learn everyone's name? Me, 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 me. All right, you first, Wiggle Worm. Okay, I'm Wiggle Worm. <laughs> I'm so excited about our prosody party. <laughs> okay, very good. Grub? <laughs> like he said, my name's Grub. Grubworm. I prefer epic poetry and classical literature, especially the minor Greeks of the post-Homeric era. Thucydides, Epimenides, Hippocrates, Aristophanes. You passed your uh, limit, please. Very well. I cede the floor to you, my fellow bookworm. Thank you, Grub. <coughs> I'm Inchworm. To measure is my pleasure. That's a good rhyme, Inchworm. Measure. Oh, yeah, that's a pleasure. <laughs> yes. A true rhyme makes a good line. <laughs> <laughs> Try this rhyme on for size. I'm a glow worm, an in the no worm. <laughs> With a just a little bit of wordplay to rev up the party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that glow worm. Totally. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. My name's Earthworm. I love natural poems about natural things like. Nature. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Earthworm. Next, let's welcome our special guests, the cheerful chums. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll go first. Wonderful. David's my name, and Ryman's my game. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm Ninjinja, victorious one. When it comes to rhyming, I've only just begun. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Here it goes, guys. My name is R.G. Jane. Ask me again and I'll tell you the same. <laughs> hello, hello, it's Benjamin Cello. <laughs> Benjamin Cello, my mellow fellow. Welcome back to the book tower. Ah, uh, thank you, Professor. And say hello to my friends. Hi. Greetings, Hi. greetings. Hi. Sorry we're tardy for the party. Party? <laughs> <laughs> Rhyming already. Take your seat. We are about to begin. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. I brought my scrap paper and my special poetry notebook. Benjamin Jello, that's a beautiful poetry book. Well, thank you, Audrey. I love having a special book to keep my poetry in. I have a new one, too. Oh. Me, too. So do I. <laughs> Splendid. Let me call Theophilus. We are ready to begin. Ah. Theophilus! Illuminate Poetry 101! <laughs> Professor Wordsworth, am excessively attentive to the rules of writing verse, and this is my incentive. The lovely lines of poetry may sow a seed of truth, especially when memorized within the blush of youth. And so, to learn the basics here, give your full attention, please. The common rhythms utilized in poetry are these. Iambic, trochaic, dactylic, and a pestic. Ha. Iambic. Iambic. Trochaic. Trochaic. Dactylic. Dactyl. And a pestic. And a septic. Ha ha. And a pestic. And a pestic. Iambic. Trochaic. Dactylic. And a pestic. Iambic. Trochaic. Dactylic. And a pestic. Iambic. Trochaic. Dactylic. Oh, great! <laughs> now that we know the names of the four most commonly used poetic meters, we must learn the rhythm of each. Ah. Ah. Iambic. Iambic. D. 
Dee dum, dee dum, dee dum, dee dum. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Iambic is the rhythm, I would say. Everyone. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Iambic is the rhythm, I would say. Lovely, lovely. Ah. Trochaic. <laughs> dum dee dum dee dum dee dum dee. Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater has trochaic for a meter. Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater has trochaic for a meter. Everyone, Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater has trochaic for a meter. Dactylic. Dactylic. Ah, dum diddle dum diddle dum diddle dum. What is dactylic? I'll give you a clue. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. What is dactylic? I'll give you a clue. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. <laughs> Anapestic. Anapestic. Diddle dum diddle dum. Hey, this is fun. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house is a poem anapestic that waltzes like Strauss. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house is a poem anapestic that waltzes like Strauss. Now that we have learned the four most commonly used meters in poetry, let us choose one of the meters and write some poetry of our own. Oh, yes, right. Ready? Let's get going. <laughs> you create, and us bookworms will consume and digest. Totally. You can't think of anything to say. Well, Grub, any advice for the young lad? Hmm. Perhaps as we contemplate the empty page, we will find within our minds the inspiration of the Holy Spirit to guide our pens. Oh. Ah, oh, yes. yes. Call upon the Holy Spirit and he will help you. Professor Words was I finished my poem. Well, Audrey, that's wonderful. You know what? I've finished mine as well. This is a humble, short little thing. It goes like this. Roses are red. Violets are violet. Blueberries are blue. I eat them on autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dear Audrey, let's hear your poem. Presenting Audrey the Audacious. Tiny sparrows sleep beneath the bright white moon because their hearts are full of peace and dawn is coming soon. Oh, oh lovely, yeah. lovely, lovely, Audrey. Yeah. Next, Vincenzo the Victorious. Yeah. <laughs> the butterflies fly graceful and high so you can see their glow. They flap their wings into the sky. Putting on a show. Oh, lovely, Vincenza. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, 
Sir David the Daring. <laughs> My poem is called The Book and the Spook Tower. Ho ho! <laughs> The book in this book tower is beautiful to see. I would read for hours. It's wonderful for me. Oh, wonderful. Phenomenal, David. Didn't you know there was another David, a King David? There is? Yes, and he was a poet. Wow. He wrote most of the book of Psalms, a book of poems which are also prayers to God, and he sang them with his harp. The Holy Spirit truly guided his pen in miraculous ways. You know, Professor, my poem is also a prayer. Really? And I have put it to music. Wow! Benjamin Cello, that is the wonderful thing about poetry. Set it to music and it becomes a song that we can sing and play in our mind forever. As St. Augustine said, he who sings prays twice. Let's hear it, Benjamin Cello. This beautiful day to sing and play This beautiful day to worship and pray This beautiful day This beautiful day This beautiful, beautiful day <sighs> Benjamin Cello Words from the heart written to God are the sweetest words we can pen did you all know that prosody is an ancient Greek word which means a poem that is sung? That's what King David did. When he wrote his Psalms in the Holy Scriptures, he put his poetry to music. You know, the most beautiful song we can sing is a prayer to our Lord. Ah, yes. Children, come and sing with us. Yes. This beautiful day to sing and play, this beautiful day to worship and pray, this beautiful day, this beautiful day, this beautiful day, this beautiful day, this beautiful, beautiful day. I say, that verse could vanquish Virgil. Yes, it could. Well, Benjamin Cello, cheerful chums, we have had a marvelous prosody party today. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Now, we are going to do this again soon, so take your prosody books and take them home and fill them up with beautiful poems and prayers to our Lord. We really like prosody parties. Yes. Professor Wordsworth, my friends and I have had a wonderful prosody party. Thank you, Benjamin Cello. And we'll keep writing. <laughs> Goodbye, bookworms. Bye. Farewell, Benjamin Cello. Goodbye, cheerful chums. Goodbye, Professor. <laughs> Godspeed. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day, this beautiful day to sing and play. It has been a beautiful day, hasn't it? The prosody party was a blast. I just love spending time with you. Until next time. Friends have the best time together And no matter the weather Friends are friends for forever It's goodbye for now Till we meet Remember, God loves you, and so do I, and so do I, my friend.
the wonderful world of Benjamin Jello returns with a brand new season of adventure. This is going to be good. I can't wait to hear this. Join Benjamin Jello, Lolly Popular, Professor Wordsworth, and Cowboy Roy as they celebrate the goodness of God and explore the world he made. Read a book, read a book, see the world unfold before your eyes. Read a book, read a book, read a book, read a book, and the world will come right down to where you are, where you are. Reunite with old friends and meet new friends too. Greetings, friends. Benjamin Cello. Better known as the Stump Jumpers. It's a journey that will fill your children with the beauty and wonder of a God breathed imagination. It isn't dying that we are born to eternal life. The Wonderful World of Benjamin Cello, Season 2. Get it today at BenjaminCello.com. Six here, give your full attention, please. The common rhythms utilized in poetry are these. Iambic, trochaic, dactylic, and apestic. <laughs> Iambic. Iambic. Trochaic. Trochaic. Dactylic. Dactyl. And apestic. And a septic. <laughs> and a pestic. Iambic, trochaic, dactylic, and a pestic. Iambic, trochaic, dactylic, and a pestic. Iambic, trochaic, dactylic, and a pestic. Oh, great! Now that we know the names of the four most commonly used poetic meters, we must learn the rhythm of each.